So let's quickly recap exactly what we've been able to do so far. In the last lesson, we looked at how to use functions, how to define those functions, how to print values, how to use those values in functions, how to use if and else statements. We've also looked at, in previous lessons, how to use strings. We've been able to look at how we've been able to open files. We've been able to look at how to print line by line from a file. We've looked at strings and how to split those strings, how to join the strings. We've looked at the for and while statements. We've looked at dictionaries. We looked at strings again. We've also looked at variables, integer variables, etc. We've looked at how to print in a range. We've looked at if, else, and elif statements. We've even looked at how to import a module and how to use that module to do some basic types of testing. Now let's move on to create our very first network scanner. So far, I've only shown you how to import the Nmap utility or module and how to use that in a very simple way. Now we're going to clear this document and then go on to use the Nmap module to build our Nmap network scanner. To do that, the first thing I want to do is clear the code that has been listed here and let's go on to then still import the Nmap module. But now we will look at how to check certain ports and then report back if those ports are available. So again, I need to import the Nmap utility. I'll just clear a few things here and let's create a new Python file. I will call this file test and what I want to do is save the previous code in here when we want to use it later on, it's still there. Go back to the hello.py and here we have, just for now, import nmap. Now to use the nmap network scanner, what I could type is nmap. And let me just see what else we can do very quickly. So nmap for nmap. Uh, what I'm going to do before that is change this to basically say NS. The short version of the Nmap scanner is NS. And what I want to do equals, let's do Nmap dot port scanner. So I'm calling this NS equals Nmap port scanner. And then I want to put in NS and then I will put in the nmap version, which I want to then retrieve the nmap version. I can then print this to the screen. And when I run this particular program, it should print the latest nmap release version 6N49, which is the current version. Now we want to go in and type in NS and let's see what else we have here. We want to do a scan. So let's click on this one here, which is scan self host, etc. And I will put in the IP address of this particular machine, which is 127.0.0.1, which is as listed here. And then let's pick some ports and I can use some arguments as well. So let's put in some values here. 127.0.0.1 and I'll put in a comma and let's put in the port numbers from 1 through to 65535. So put this in quotes because it is a string, comma, one, two, six, five, five, three, five. Well, let's type that in. So we have those port numbers. Sorry, I just need to fix the two to a three. 
and let's see if that works. So once that has been done, I can now scan the IP address 127.0.0.1 and these being the ports. So if I run this, basically the Nmap scanner will then scan those specific ports. So let me run this and let's look at the results and we will see what the program is doing. It might take a little while because it's checking all these ports. Now while that's happening, let's see, I may need to stop this because obviously there's a lot of ports here. So let's change this to just 1000 ports. So let's just alter that because this is taking quite long. I'll also put in the minus V extension here to fit in with that particular settings. So this seems to still be going again because there are so many ports to scan. So let's stop that and let's go back in and change this to just be 1000 ports. So let's figure this out and let's have a look at what the results are when I put this at 1000. When I run this program now, I might take out the minus V tag because it's not really required at this point. Let's run the program. And yes, the process is working with 1000 ports scanned. Now we can do the NS scan and let's change this to the minus V tag and let's look at what results are obtained when we use minus V in this scan. So let's run this again and the process is finished. Hasn't reported anything because we haven't really printed anything to the screen. So let's see what we can do here. I can view the results by typing in NS scan info and let's have a look at what is returned when we type in NS scan info. I run the program and you will see the process is finished. I need to probably put in a print command in there. So when I go back here and type in print, notice now when I type in print and run this program, it will return some results like TCP. So it's a service that we're using, services, these are the ports, and the method that it is using for this particular scan. And that is returning the scan for those particular ports. Now I want to print the NS CSV. So let's print this and see what happens now. If you look through here, it's returned those certain information that we had before, but now it's telling me host protocol and some other details here, which is no port is open on this particular machine. So that's interesting. I need to find another machine to basically return a result as this has no ports open.